Uh, uh, lady, excuse me. Hi. Oh. How you doing? Hi. How'd it go? Beautiful. All right. Beautiful it is. That's what we'll celebrate. Beautiful first week of job. Sorry. Yes, he is. Hey. Ignore him. Hey, listen, man. Come on, don't be sore here. Don't be a what? Sore a sore, sore head. head? Oh, really? My dear, Bronwyn, this is my friend who gave me a sore head last week, and then he said this week that I shouldn't have it anymore. Listen, I have a lot of pressures that were building up, man, and they, they, they all hit me at the wrong times. What I'm saying is I'm sorry, and why don't we let bygones be bygones? All right? Please? Well, it's kind of, a, kind of a kicky job. I get a chance to drive around all the VIPs, uh, get a close-up look at all the, the hardware and everything. You know anything about this place, Brahma? Hardly. You know, until my security clearance comes, they won't let me see anything but the ladies' lounge and the clean room I'm working in. How's it pay? <sighs> By the time they take out Social Security withholding and hospitalization, I'm afraid there really isn't that much to take home, you know? At the present time, I'm a little bit uptight for dough. Well, uh, listen, I, I can let you have a couple of bills if that'll help out. <laughs> a couple of bills ain't gonna do it this time, Herm. Uh, I gotta go to work. I'll okay, see well, okay, well, listen, I'll see you. All right, well, now, give me a call, all right? And if you get your clearance from over to the place and you got nothing to do, we'll take you on a grand tour of the place. Thank you. Uh, behave yourself. All right, I'll be here. <laughs> Got a minute? Yeah. I'm glad I got you. What's on your mind? Scotty, you know, um, in the last couple of weeks we've become pretty good friends. Huh? Yes, we have. And uh, friends from athletes, right? Well, then that depends. Uh, all right. Did you find the money you needed? Now, uh, where, where do you find money? Oh, Scotty, you never find it. Uh, not important. Well, what's on your mind? Did she get in touch with you? No, she doesn't, but her lawyers do every day. Why? Well, uh, to clear everything away, square it up, how much money would you need? Would you like to be free and clear? I well, mean it. Sure. Uh-huh. How much will it take? $7,500. Well, I think there's a way you can get it. Maybe. Sure. I made up a figure, and she said she'd try and come up with it. Scott and I are not married. The whole thing was put on. I was paid to do it. Well, I was paid. To make that scene in the nightclub, huh? Yes. Well, look, what do you want from me? I just saw him that one time. I haven't done anything. Who hired you? Who hired you, dear? Kelly. Kelly Robertson. Then they know about us. Yeah. Well, what they don't know is that we know they know. What difference does that make? All the difference in the world. All the difference between the success and failure. And we have the advantage. Yeah. Scott! I've been waiting for you. Bobby has your money. You get all of it? She wants you at our place by noon. By noon? I can't wait. I get a tour after lunch. You'll be back in time. We go up to the installation in your company car, using your VIP badges, gather up the data, and blow up the stands. You can't blow up. Can't blow up the stains. I mean, it can't be done. In the first place, uh, 
we get inside, uh, we won't be able to... I've already got those. I don't need you, Mr. Scott, or your phony ex-wife anymore. When I reach Santa Susana, you and she will be far away and quite dead. <laughs>